Hey forever Lees, it is just Maddie in this video. I look kind of crazy right now. No makeup, hair is not done. I'm just wearing like my at home study clothes because I have been studying all day and planning for my fall and summer semesters. Um, so I thought it would be fitting to do um, an education update, career path update, because there have there has been like some advancements in this, and I'm so excited to talk about this because like I truly have found like what I'm passionate about, and that's that's such an exciting thing. So I asked y'all, I told y'all to ask me some questions on my Instagram story. So I've got some questions to answer, and I'm also going to give y'all a bit of an update. So first of all, update time. So I, I went into school thinking, okay, I'm going to do the rad tech program, right? Um, and then I kind of did some more research because I think it'd be cool to be rad tech. It'd be so much fun. But I did more research into the job market near me. It's just not really thriving right now um, for just basic radiograf radiographers. They want specialized people. So um, I am going to go into a specialized radiographer program where I would be an ultrasound technician. That's, that's my current plan. It could change. Lots of stuff has been changing. I mean, with college, that's, I feel like that's what college is for. It's a time of self-exploration, figuring out what you want to do with your life. And so, yeah, that could always change. I could always change my mind. But right now, um, I'm trying to get into the ultrasound technician program. Um, and then I don't think I want to be a radiologist anymore, a diagnostic radiologist. That's still on the table. But I don't think that's my end goal anymore because, I mean, I kind of picked that out because I'm like, okay, this is something that's impressive and I'm going to make good money, which is cool. That's fine. But I found something that I'm more passionate about, which I'm still going to continue. Being a radiologist, a diagnostic radiologist is still on the table. It's there. It's an option. Um, I, I th still think I would love to do it. But I think I would enjoy being a research scientist way more, a biomedical research scientist. That's been something that I've been like super interested in for a long time. So I'm just going through um, school just to get like a biology degree in my bachelor's in bio biology. And I think I'm going to do some sort of like summer research program at a local university. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the update. I think that's the career path I'm leaning more towards. Um, because I mean, I just feel like constantly making new like discoveries and stuff. That's just so exciting. And I've noticed that I like this more because taking anatomy and physiology, the anatomy of the body, the functions of the body, that just bored the crap out of me. And the clinical applications, like, yeah, they're fine, but it's just like not interesting to me. But the cellular level, like the first few semesters where we did chemistry and cell biology, oh my God, I loved it. It just constantly had my brain turning. I'm constantly asking my professor questions like, I remember whenever we were in lecture the other day, we were talking about um, the beta-3 agonists and antagonists, and it said it's used for overactive bladders, but it, it makes your fat tissue go into lipolysis, which burns fat while you're just sitting there. Sit there, you burn fat. Your fats in your body are basically just being broken down while you sit there. Beta-3 agonists can induce lipolysis, but it was just used medically for like um, overactive bladders. So I started researching it and I talked to my professor. I'm like, why don't they use this for obese patients that can't, that have trouble dieting or reactions to diet medications um, because you don't have to decrease your food intake for this. And I went and I researched and I researched and I found out that this is actually something like they're using in rats um, for rats. And it like brought down the fat levels in obese rats. Um, so I thought that was super interesting. And that's the kind of stuff that makes my brain tick. Not muscles and bones. <laughs> I like stuff better at the cellular level. I find that much more interesting. So I think I'm going to start taking some more classes that have to do with that, like microbiology and chemistry. 
um, just to kind of figure out more of like what I truly want to do because I know I want to go into um, the ultrasound technician program for sure. Um, that's just to get me through like my bachelor's degree, my master's degree. But I think the end goal might be more of like a scientific researcher now. So yeah, big update on my career path. I honestly don't care how much I'm making. I'd rather be a scientist than a radiologist, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, but that's basically that. Anyways, I've got some questions to answer. So I just like asked told y'all to ask me like general questions about like my education and my career path. And I got quite a few questions. Um, somebody asked if I'm switching majors. I accidentally opened Roblox on my computer. Okay, somebody asked if I'm switching majors. I am not switching majors. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like switch some of the classes I'm taking. They both fall into the biology major, but it's just like different classes that I would take. Um, where is Everly while I do school? Either at my mom's house or at school herself. Um, in the fall, she'll actually be at school the whole time I'm at school. I won't need help from my mom or anything, which is exciting. How do I find time to study with a child? Um, honestly, she's just had to learn to kind of like independently play um, while I'm studying or hang out with Randy while I'm studying. Um, but most of the time I'm studying is spent while she's at school. Unless I'm like cramming for an exam, I don't really study that much while she's home. Um, but it'll usually just be like at nighttime when I'm studying. So I don't have to like really take away much time from me and Everly. Do I have any regrets for dropping off out of high school now that I'm in college? Not one. Zero. Am I planning to transfer? This is a great, this is a great question because I actually just chose my transfer school that I'll be applying to next year. So um, top choice is TCU. My dad went there and he loved it and they have an awesome research program that I'd love to be a part of and then but they're so expensive that's the only downfall but the opportunities there are just so great and I'm not really one to care about like student loan debt I could pay that off until the day I die I don't give a crap I want a good education um and my second choice is um UNT which it's a nice school but it's not really the research program that I'm necessarily wanting. And I feel like it's just too many people condensed into one school. I like the vibe of TCU a bit more. How have my grades been? <laughs> so I have a 4.0 GPA at the moment, but that could change at any time because I'm an a and and I started out with a 96 for the first over half of the semester until we got to the muscles unit. I'm a 92 now. Which you're going to say like, Maddie, you're crazy. That's a great grade for anatomy and physiology. I don't want that grade to drop below a 92 because that'll take away my 4.0. So, um, I don't know. I'm studying really hard because you have one unit left and then our final. So I'm basically just going to be studying my ass off for the next two to three weeks. So hopefully I can keep that 92. I have above 95 in every other class I'm in though. What's my favorite subject so far? So far, just anatomy and physiology I, has been er interesting to me, but that's the only science class I've taken so far. Next semester, I'm considering taking three to four science classes in one semester. One of them is an expedited one that's only a month, um, which would be just general biology, which I feel like would be super easy because I, biology, I love. I mean, I'm a biology major. And then I'd take chemistry, physics, and AMP2. Chemistry and physics, no, 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 A and P, 2, and physics are the for sure classes that I'm taking. I don't know if I'm going to add chemistry in there or not yet, but I do need chemistry 1 and 2 to transfer to TCU. So I'm going to have to knock both of those out eventually. Why not just go ahead and do it? I don't know. I talked to the counselor on the phone today, and it's not the counselor I usually talk to. And she, she asked me, I told her, I said, okay, so I'm going to want to take like 26 credit hours in one semester. She said, do you realize what a credit hour is? Have you ever taken more than like 16 credit hours? I'm like, whoa, okay. And she said that she doesn't think I know what I'm signing myself up for, but I know exactly what I'm signing myself up for. It would just be double the course work I have now. And this is so manageable for me right now. Like, I don't know. She talked to me like I was crazy. And she said she's never like dealt with a student that wanted to do 
more than like 20 credit hours in a semester. But I mean like 16 of the credit hours are just easy online classes, so oh, I don't know. It kind of made me angry because she said oh, it, it was frustrating because I know I could handle it. She said, I don't think anyone could ever handle that. Like, please let me try at least because I think I can do it. Okay, do I plan on getting my bachelor's and master's? That's the plan. I want to get um, a PhD as well. Dr. Maddie. I, I want to go up and continue my education as long as I can take it. Um, I've really loved going to school. Also, like hundreds of people stood up on my story telling me to not take multiple science classes in the same semester. What other majors did I consider? I didn't really consider any other majors. I'm considering switching to biochemistry, but it depends on if I'm liking chemistry or not. I don't know. Does having Everly influence my career decisions? Yes, 110% yes. One of the main reasons I wanted to be a radiologist, just like a diagnostic radiologist, is so I could do that remotely and stay home with Everly. It's, it comes down to what you're passionate about, really. And I, I find more passion in, um, biomedical research and i think that's what like makes my brain tick so i don't know it definitely does influence it but i also want to do something i love why did i change my mind that's a really good question um i guess it was just from taking my classes i kind of narrowed it down to what um technical career i was going to pursue while getting my bachelor's so I was able to kind of like find out what I was really interested in. And I also got a breast ultrasound and I talked to the ultrasound technician for a long time about like just her experience in school. And she said, she told me, I remember she was like, honey, if you're going to be a technologist, do something specialized. So that's what made me change my mind, um, especially after like looking at the available jobs for an ultrasonographer versus just um, a rad tech in general. I really had to weigh my options with that. Okay. So I took a quick break to eat some soup because I was really hungry. Um, but yeah, I'm working on scheduling all my classes for the fall and summer right now, like I said before. And I think I've officially decided that I am going to be not doing chemistry mm, i don't know i can't decide i can't decide i don't know i don't know give me advice in the comments below if you've ever taken four science classes in one semester because i need three of them i need two of them to be able to register for my program but i can give or take without two of them but i'd like to get another one in there and get it done i don't know apparently chemistry is hard but it seems cool it looks like fun but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's my life update, um, career, schooling update. I should be done with my associates in spring. So I'll have my associates degree in spring next year. So I've got a year until I graduate from that. And then um, I'm gonna apply to TCU and UNT. I still need to like look more into those schools, but those those are my current two top choices. Um, obviously, I'm trying to stay very local because I don't want to have to move or anything. Um, that's that's the current plan. I'm pretty proud of myself so far. I'm, I'm doing the thing, and I think I'm capable of a lot more than I had otherwise thought. Let's just hope I can remember all the cranial nerves and their functions so I can get a good grade in A and P. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.